So hi, hi, this is Sabine Zanker, dermatologist based in Munich, Germany. Uh, welcome to MWC Global Virtual. Um, I have the honor today to guide you through my way of temple injection. Um, you can see here our beautiful model Giselli, who is 40 years old and never had any temple injection, but is a very skinny and um, tough lady doing lots of workout and um, looking after her nutrition and all that. So it's logic that in her the um, temple area gets concave over time. So looking at uh, the objective here, it would be to fill up the um, lateral part of um, or the part above her eyebrow in filling the temple area, which would result, ideally result in a slight lifting up of the lateral eyebrow, um, which makes the eye, the look of the eye more open and the overall um, facial proportions more balanced. In this case, I'm using a very viscous and hygiene prime product, which is mesofiller intense, um, a 25 milligram hyaluronic acid injected with a 27 gauge um, needle. The um, very important is in uh, the temple injection is to be careful and knowledgeable about anatomy. So what are we dealing with here? The temple area um, has some, um, uh, uh, from looking at anatomy, some very important landmarks who teach us a lot. And the first uh, landmark is the uh, superficial temple artery, which comes up, up from the um, in front of the hairline and gives up the ramus frontalis to the supratrochlear, which is right a high way down to the orbit and which we know has once um, affected, once injected in cause blindness. So this is one of the first uh, no-go areas. The second, we have to understand the temporalis muscle, which lies under the skin, is a very strong muscle for, it's not a mimic muscle, it's a muscle for mastication. So this muscle has to pull, uh, in a f um, f uh, has to affect a very high force in pulling up the mandible for chewing, for mastication. So this muscle is for this reason attached very tightly to, down to the bone to, um, <clears throat> to um, without any fascia in between. The fascia, the, the deep uh, temporal fascia is actually laying on this muscle. So once injecting, I recommend, highly recommend to, to inject deep onto the bone, which then means we're certainly also injecting into the muscle. We have to, I'm, I'm a low doser, so I don't want to puff, make the, this area puffy because in chewing and mastication and also by the pressure, pressing up of the material of the hyaluronic acid here, we can risk to um, have the veins a bit more showy of, over some time, which is very normal. Um, again, overdosing would not be my approach, uh, rather a second, a touch up after two weeks, um, but, um, it's uh, again no overdosing here so please lay back in order to understand the area of injection and, and gps you through um, the whole procedure here i would like to uh, sh to um, make you understand where we are here the temple region is um, has four borders, basically the zygoma on the lower part, the hairline on the lateral part, the temporal crest, the temporal fusion line, which um, is the upper margin, and the orbital rim. For the orbital rim, really be careful in, in palpating it and not in drawing it where the eyebrows um, um, actually run, because this is um, a uh, and, and mistake oftenly done um, that we don't actually palpate the mandible and then ending up in a wrong injection point. So the very easy way I would like to show uh, is how to find the, this injection point is go one centimeter up and then one centimeter parallel to the orbital rim down and this is your injection point. The um, 
the um, technique I will show you now is a technique which goes directly down to the bone, um, an injection deep to the bone in a gunshot wise way. Um, very importantly, can you see her superficial temporal artery, how this is pulsing here? So this is obviously an, uh, the vessel to avoid. I palpate it and, and the artery is right down under my index finger. So I use this index finger to also pull up um, and um, put a pressure on in order to avoid any injection here. Other than this, you can see lots of veins here. She has some acne scarring, but these are the veins you obviously want to avoid too. So the point here is to go one up, one over, and go down to the bone. I'm already touching a bone. She's so skinny. There is not a lot of um, space in between. I obviously pull up and um, check for any blood coming back. And then I'm pushing down and placing the material down to the bone. Mesofiller, mesostatic, mesofiller intense is the material I go for here. You feel any pain, Gisani? No. Just and in her, I think we don't need a lot. Still on the bone. I feel the bone with my needle. This is a safe place to inject. And I think I'm pretty done here. Let me just take the markings away. Just in case I do um, press down on the injection point for some little while. I did inject a point three only now. Let us have a look at her frontal view. I need to check the front of you too. And if ever, I think that's not enough. I would do more, but molding it slightly down always helps. And I think we're pretty done. Can you see how the lateral eyebrow goes up? Mm -hmm. How this fills up? You can see the veins a bit more coming out here. That's very normal because of the pressure of the product, but that should fade over time. Can you chew for me? Cowan. Yeah, I think that looks very nice. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Giselle. <laughs>